guys welcome to my studio <laughs> um it's been a while since i've introduced myself so i thought that i would say hi for those who are tuning in for the first time i am sammy clark and i am an illustrator um i am currently working on a project of doing the characters of peter pan and I am on Captain Hook right now, which is really fun. If you have followed me for a while, you will know that for the past few years, I have focused very heavily on animal characters, which I still love doing. Um, but for my portfolio, I really need to add some more people. And to be honest, I'm really scared or I have been in the past really scared of doing people because I feel like my skills aren't quite up to the standards of what I would want them to be. So I've made myself do it. And oh. so I've made myself work on drawing people and I'm getting so much more comfortable with it. Um, you will see it in my past few videos. I've shared my process of some of the first people I did. The previous video was Wendy and my patrons got to see my Tinkerbell process. So you guys are going to get to see my Captain Hook process. Um, there's more details on my Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it is a way for you to support creators that you like and help them to be able to continue creating fun content, work towards their goals. In this case, um, the money that I get from that, I use to fund creating the things for my portfolio that I need to do. I also have a shop where I sell pins and prints and stickers. So if you want to check that out, I have a sale going on right now. There's a link below to that. If you want to join me on Patreon, I would love that. We have a lot of fun. I share all of the behind the scenes kind of like inspiration, sketchbook stuff that I don't share anywhere else, um, as well as exclusive videos and a print in the mail each month. You can sign up for different things. So anyway, you can check that out below and I will go ahead and get to it. And I will show you the supplies I used for this painting today. So I actually used a lot of products for this piece, um, more than I usually use. Something I don't usually use is gouache, and I used the vermilion and scarlet for like the shadowy areas on the vermilion. I used ultramarine blue, a little bit of Payne's gray, and a little bit of lamp black very sparingly, like I can't even think of specifically where I used those, but I know they were mixed in some places. Um, I also used Winsor & Newton inks, uh, yellow sunshine, or sorry, sunshine yellow, peat brown, and apple green, mixing those when necessary. And also my black India ink, also Winsor & Newton. I used Copic markers sparingly on this. Um, I used a pale sepia for some like the gold elements of the illustration and the pale thistle for some shadowing areas. For my pens, I used my Pentel brush pen for parts of Captain Hook's hair. And then I used 
these micron brushes, I'm sorry, micron pens in different sizes all the way up to 05, actually 08, I just don't have it here. Faber-Castell um, dark sepia size small pen, a white jelly roll, and some colored pencils. Some of these are Prisma color erase and some of them are just uh, Prisma color or Stadler, Stadler, I don't know, it's German. So anyway, yeah, I used um, this brown indigo blue just on his eyes. I use this quite a bit, um, golden rod. The black colored pencil I also used to kind of um, recreate the sketchy look that I had on my digital, um, original digital sketch. And terracotta. So those are my tools. This is my little swatch paper where I was testing colors before I put them on the page. I didn't used to do this, but it's really been a beneficial thing. So I'm happy I started doing it. And at the end, you kind of have like a fun selection of the colors that you used. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so you guys know that um, I do most of my sketches on my iPad ever since I got it. Just seems to be a really nice way for me to work loosely and be able to change things as much as necessary. I actually worked from a pose I had my husband do, um, pretending he was Captain Hook for this, and it worked really, really well. So it's really fun. Um, in the book, he's being pulled on this chariot by some of the other pirates, but I just couldn't seem to get that to be a composition I liked. So I went ahead and I started planning out my colors on Procreate. Um, it is said that he dresses like King Charles II of England. So I kind of took some inspiration for his clothing from there. Um, but I also added these black stripes to kind of make it feel a little bit darker and go with his sinister personality, although I want him to be kind of flamboyant at the same time because that also suits him. So going in with the vermilion gouache and then scarlet for the shadows. If you can use a shade that is slightly more blue than the color that you are using for the shadows, so like I use a vermilion for his jacket and then the scarlet which is slightly more blue for the shadows it works really well and you'll see me do that throughout this piece with different colors. He's supposed to have kind of a tan olivey skin tone which I tried to get. He's a little less pink than Wendy um, but skin tones are really hard so I had to work at that a little bit. I had so much fun adding in the details to his costume and once I started going in with my pen, it really started to get the effect that I wanted. It was important to me also to make the lines varied in thickness because that also kind of helps to create the look I wanted um, in my original sketch. He has this like double cigar holder that it says he created and I looked at a few different movie adaptations of that to decide which kind of design I liked. For the outlining I went in with my Micron pens but then I also added in more with my um, black colored pencil. I decided his hair needed a little bit more depth to it, so I added an another layer using some India ink. Now using brown colored pencil to create a little bit of a textured wood grain effect on the chariot. And thought that he needed a cushion behind him and kind of a luxurious tapestry-like fabric. I just thought that if he was going to ride around in a chariot, he was going to have to like have a cool pillow. It was really fun for me to do a kind of sinister character, very different than most of the things I have myself draw. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'd like to do more villains. <laughs> it just, I had a lot of fun with it. 
Um, I wasn't sure how much of a background I was going to add in, but to ground the piece, I decided that I wanted to do kind of like the jungle forest floor. Um, so kind of crunching over some dried banana leaves and um, leaving tracks in the mud, things like that. And to ground it even more, I added in shadow. My thought is that it's midday, so the sun's pretty much directly overhead. And just adding details to his chariot. I also considered adding in brown, um, like dirt on the floor. I was going to initially, but then I decided that it felt a little bit more modern by leaving the other areas white rather than if I did like a pool of brown underneath the whole thing. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Adding in some last shadows. Just re-intensifying these leaves, they got a little washed out. Here he is, all finished. I'm really happy with the expression, the colors, textures, the leaves on the ground. Um, yeah, so if you want to see more behind the scenes of my ideas for him, you can head on over to my Patreon and $1 patrons have access to that stuff. I also wanted to show you guys him and Wendy together because I'm really happy that they look like they belong in the same universe. I think the colors work well together and they have the same kind of line quality. So yeah, if you want to see the video where I did Wendy, it's the previous one on my channel. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to do a shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for making this illustration possible, making this video possible. I couldn't do it without you and I really appreciate you guys sticking with me through some of the changes in my subject matter, what I've been painting. It's been awesome to just have your support. I'm going to pick some of my patrons at random to thank. Thank you, Veronica. You are amazing. I love when I get letters from you. It is just awesome. Thank you, Byron. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Joost. I hope I'm saying your name right. My only patron in the Netherlands, which is awesome. It's really cool to me. So thank you so much. Thank you, Erica and Alexis and Peggy. Thank you guys so much. There's so many more, but I just wanted to shout out a few of you guys. So thank you. And I hope everyone enjoys their week. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.